The number of people with special needs is increasing every year, especially in the capital city, Port Moresby. From disabilities to widows and orphanages, these minority groups have special needs that the only support they receive are from non-government organizations and individuals with kind hearts. David Datona, a candidate for the Mosby Northwest seat, has seen the need to include these people as part of his policies to address their issues. Uh, also, another different uh, position that I'm taking is to support our widows, our orphans, our widowers, our disabled and also the homeless. And I would like to stand up for that. Our women as well need to be supported. Unfortunately, women have been operating in a parallel with the government. We have an established National Council of Women who have presidents and councillors. I would like to revive that and make sure our women are working in accord with the member and Northwest must have an office and each ward must have a community development hall where our women who are already appointed politically through the National Council of Women can be involved. In his interview with NBC yesterday, Datona also highlighted the importance of his policies, mostly targeted at the welfare of the people. He has met with some minority groups in Mosby Northwest and talked to them as part of his campaign. Mosby Northwest electorate also covers indigenous communities, the Motu Koitabuans. But with the Motu Koita people, what we need to do is uh, allow them to get their land back. All those state leases in the CBD in Northwest must go back to the landowners one way or the other and allow, allow them to deal with the land on a commercial basis with whoever's on the land there. There must be a special dispensation in relation to the Motokoita because the land goes back. Because if we know our history, in 1884, when Commodore Erskine raised the British flag on Metzorea in Hanobara, the proclamation was that your land will never ever be taken away from you. Mr. Dautona says now is the time for a new leadership with vision and he aims to change most be not worse if he is given that mandate through the ballot by the voters. Gabriel Bego, NBC National News, Port Mosby.